This is the first program that we will be learning. What is this program doing? It is defining a numerical array of five elements. It will ask the user to enter any five integers that will be assigned to uh, different memory locations of the array and then they will be displayed. Okay. So what is this first line doing? Array is an array. You can give any name. It is of size 0 till range 5. Range 5 means up till 4. Okay. It is exclusive. So 0 to 4 that is this array is of 5 elements where its index locations. Can you see this is the index location R0, R1, R2, R3 up to R4. See these 0, 1, 2 are also known as subscript. You can also call them index. In the plural form you can call them indices. So this array is defined of 5 elements. It is assigned 5 memory locations with the respective index locations assigned. Okay. On the screen, you will get a message enter 5 numericals. In the for loop, the variable i will get the value from 0. In the range, you are defining the final limit range 5. The starting value is not defined, so it will, by default, the starting value is considered as 0. The final limit is 5. That means the for loop will terminate on the value 5. So the value of i will range from 0 up to 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. On the fifth value, this for loop will terminate. In the first round, the value of i will be 0. Input means user will enter some value. It will be in integer format. By this int function, it will be type passed into integer. So suppose the user enters value 6. It will be converted into integer and will be assigned to r 0 location. Then after the value of i will increment to 1. The next value that user enters, suppose 3. It will be assigned to r 1 index location. The value of i will increment to 2. The next value entered by user is suppose say 8. It will be assigned to r 2 index location. Thereafter the value of i will increment to 3. Next value suppose user enters is 4. That will be assigned to your r 3 index location. Thereafter the value of i will become 4. Suppose the user enters value 2. That will be assigned to r 4 index location. Thereafter the value of i will become 5 which is not allowed. The for loop will terminate. Control will come over here. Numerical entered in the array R by displaying R. See, unlike other languages where you are essentially supposed to use a for loop, Python allows you to display the entire array elements by just writing the array name. So it will do what? In the square bracket, it will display all the array elements. Right? You can also use a for loop. See, you are displaying the array through two methods. One is directly by giving the array name. Secondly, by using a for loop. What you are doing in this for loop, you are using in keyword. So what will happen? The n variable will get the first element of array. The loop will execute for once. Then after the second array element will be assigned to this n. The loop will execute again. Next array element will be assigned to the variable n. Again the loop will execute. That means the for loop will execute by allowing one element at a time to the variable n. And the for loop will terminate automatically when the, all the array elements have been assigned to the variable n. Let's copy this program and in the spider id right click and paste it. Now let's run this program. It is asking you to enter the five elements. I entered 6, 6, 3, 8, 4, 2. They are assigned to your as 0 index location r 1, r 2, r 3 and r 4. See, by giving the array name itself will display all the array elements enclosed in the square bracket. You can use in keyword in the for loop also, which will allocate each and every value of the array element one by one to the variable n and you are displaying the variable. You can see that. 